Simon, Halifax uh, Rack and Screw Company. This is a fascinating business. We're going to have a walk around the shop floor in a minute, but very, very quickly, give us a, a brief potted history of the business. Um, the, the business originally spun out of a machine tool company in Halifax, Bins and Berry, uh, and the business was the lead screw and rack manufacturing part of the business. Uh, that's, that was created 60 years ago, and we've been on the same site in Brighouse for 60 years. Okay, now, product. This is, uh, well, for me, I've, I've been quite blown away today from what we've seen. This is the type of thing we're making, isn't it? This is a uh, quite large gear rack, 30 module gear rack, uh, for an oil and gas application. Um, as a business, we do from stair racks, so half inch square, less than one module, up to, we've just recently done a 100 module gear rack um, for another oil and gas application. Okay. So we cover probably the, the biggest sort of volume and the biggest capacity that you can get out of. Which we're going to see a lot of. Let's go this way. If you come with me, Simon. Um, the machine tools that you're using here as well, we've got an Abarmier here, which is uh, obviously a travelling column machine. But this is one of a few, isn't it, that you've got yeah, in the machine got, shop? We've got three machines. We've got a four, five and a six metre bed machine. Um, all the machines have got magnetic chucks rather than vices or beds. Um, which allows us to machine the gear rack very efficiently. And, and just before we move on, that material you were telling me about that, what actually, what grade of steel is that? S690, so it's 690 HV, so it's, it's tough. And as you described it, a man's steel. Now you, you, you've got a, a, a vast array of machine tools in here, uh, doing various kind of applications as well. Another Abarmier there, obviously a, your big has down the bottom. Oh, we just need to move this way so this gentleman can uh, pass on the forklift. Um, and you have a lot of investment, don't you, on an, on, a, on an annual basis here. How much would you uh, say that you're investing machine tools? Um, in the last five years, we've invested over four million pounds. Four million pounds, okay. Now, there's also been a, a, an expansion in your subcontract uh, side as well, isn't there? I mean, you've been, you've been not just uh, obviously creating the product that you're known for, if you step this way, Simon, with me. Uh, subcontract has become a part of the business as well, uh, hence the investment in a mill-turn Mazak machine and the DMG Mori that you have here too. All, all the machines that we purchase now have to be multifunction machines uh, so that we get the ultimate efficiency out of the machine for the customer. Now, and it's allowed us to, to win work that we wouldn't normally have won in the past because we're doing it more efficiently. Okay, now this is a product here. I mean, you've got here, te just tell us about, let's pick these two out. I mean, classic applications we've got here. Uh, you've got some large hex nuts. Um, and this is real engineering, isn't it? I mean, th so these are all being machined here on, on the Mazak? They're done on the Mazak and they're done in one operation. In so one operation? One operation, yes. And, um, and, then, and then here, uh, bigger diameter parts, there's going to be some gear cutting or they're going for gear... Two DP gear blanks um, for our customer. We have a major customer in America. Uh, these are, these are semi-finished. Semi we're, we're doing batches of 10. Uh, this is the we basically bought the material for the year's supply. A lot of work in progress going on uh, here. Here's, here's a, a, a nice, um, well this is a, obviously a ball screw of some description. This is a lead screw, it's um, a power jack screw. So this is probably core business. Our core business is long narrow shafts generally and gear rack. So it's allowed us to win, win uh, pump shaft work, which we do now and other long shaft work out there. And what's the maximum length that you could actually uh, do on a, let's say... I can tell you that we've done a 36 foot long shaft. 36. And there's a hole in the wall and it was in the car park next door. Is it really? You, you, I hope you did that during the summer, otherwise you would have... The you'd have got at the most, finding the material. So a lot of the things we do now, we do jointed, so we make it out of two pieces and we joint it together, we, we pin it together basically, screw it and pin it together. Obviously ev in evidence here, a lot of skill uh, within the business but I, I know from talking to you as well earlier Simon that uh, skilled staff are quite hard to come by aren't they these days? It's very difficult to find people and I think it's the same for everybody at the moment. So when you, when you can't necessarily find the skills you do have to rely on technology to help you out. One of your latest purchases here at CMZ Machine. It is yeah and it's um, again a multifunction machine, Y-axis, 
tail stock, but it's got um, a travelling st steady. Um, I, I noticed that on the machine. So essentially, the steady is moving along the base of the machine. So wherever the cutting edge is, slide way, and it'll follow the follow the cutting edge down. So that gives you much more security, doesn't it, when you're it turning does. diameters? It does. It allows you to do a longer part, a deeper thread. I also noticed with these machines, they've got a 16-station turret on them as well, haven't they? Yeah, Which yeah. is gives you that a bit more, more flexibility. Flexibility, yeah. The thing, the next thing we're investing in is the Capto holders to go into the turrets. We've got one set so far, which allows a quick change over. So if you want to change a tap size or something mid-cycle, it's 30 seconds to drop another tool in. Okay, and then the jewel in the crown here, we're going to finish on this one. Um, obviously the machine shop is probably uh, twice the size of what we've walked around. But here, from Akuma, uh, an MCMT, you've really um, gone up a league here, haven't you? This is the biggest investment the company's ever made. The reason we bought this machine is to manufacture round gears very efficiently using power skiving. We, we've done a lot on our channel about power skiving, uh, looking at demonstrations, open days that NCMT have had. Uh, is it correct what they say they can achieve? Absolutely, 100% correct. And the speed is unbelievable. And, and this is an ideal, uh, well, for you guys, this is what you live and breathe, isn't it? So as a case study, this is a, the best way to illustrate that you can actually gear cut on these machines. Absolutely. Accurately. We've been doing it for 18 months now, very successfully. The machine is full 24 hours, five days a week. Good stuff. Fascinating insight into this business. A lot of history here, Simon, and, uh, and I'm sure there's going to be a big future as well. That's just a quick tour around the machine shop. Uh, there's going to be a lot more videos on our channel about specific machines uh, from the company here. Thank you very much, Simon. Thank you.